We're getting hitched. Long time no see. This is a vlog-ish style DIY tutorial video. We're gonna be installing this Kurt hitch on my mom's Prius C. It is a 2012, no, it's a 2013, but Prius Cs were around, at least in the United States, from 2012 until 2019, it was discontinued. And in the rest of the world, this is called a Toyota Aqua, but for whatever reason, they branded it Prius C in the United States. These hitches are available off of Amazon for about $114 as of right now, but might go up a little bit or down a little bit, depending. Amazon Prime delivered to your house. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get this hitch on that car and increase its utility. As a disclaimer, work at your own risk. If you follow this video and you get hurt or die during this installation, I am not liable. Do it at your own risk. Wear safety glasses, wear closed toed shoes, have somebody help you, stay inside your mechanical comfort zone limits, and let's get into the tutorial. Here is the hitch itself. It's still got some packaging on it. Mom, what are you gonna do with the new hitch on your car? Uh, nothing. Either way, it's gonna add some utility down here for a bike rack, for towing possibilities, for Whatever, I put hitches on most of my cars, so we still haven't done it on this Prius though. And once we opened the hitch, it did come with instructions. Got some bolts in here, no drilling. It looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. It says it's only gonna take installation time 15 minutes. So my goal is to make this video less than 15 minutes. We need a ratchet, torque wrench, socket, screwdriver, safety glasses. So we don't really have a torque wrench, I don't think. Got our work shoes on. These actually are more like work shoes because they are closed toed. So I feel like it's gonna give me a little bit more protection. Okay, so the way that this hitch is designed, it's, it actually mounts in this direction. Like the bolts go that way. This says this is only a thousand pounds gross trailer weight and 150 pounds tongue weight, but it says 2000 pounds and 200 pounds on their website. So I wonder if this is just a older model that they've updated or if they've done some more tests. I don't know. Let's get this off. One and a quarter inch receiver. And we also get a pin and a cotter pin in there. Look at that, included. The goal is we're gonna take off these panels right here and then the hitch bolts onto here. We're gonna take these three bolts out on this side and also on that side, put the hitch in there and then put the plastics back on. And it did come with some 10.9 hardness bolt as well as these conical tooth washers that we're going to use when we take off the OEM bolts. 12 millimeter and the matching wrench. I also got a flat head screwdriver and then this plastic panel removing tool. These will help with removing these clips, which will help us to remove these panels. So these little clips are going to be your worst enemy during this entire thing. As you can see, I've already broken one. It's supposed to have two sides to it. You pry down as much as you can. Once this pin goes all the way in, it allows for compression and then you can pull it out and then you're gonna put these aside. Uh, it looks like there's one, two. It looks like we're gonna have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those buggers before we can get all of this like plastic paneling stuff off. So feel free to watch me struggle doing that. But that one didn't break. That's what it's supposed to look like. If you don't have this fancy prying tool, could use like two screwdrivers, flathead, and attack it. Four down, three more to go. So after getting six of these seven of these uh, fairing clips or under, I don't know what these are called, undercarriage plastic mounting clips out, I've only completely damaged one of them, but I've realized the easiest way to attack these guys are a fatter flathead screwdriver 
you're gonna have to pry it and open it up a little bit and then kind of pull with a downward force to get this all the way open, which is extremely difficult because these are lodged up with sand and grime and dirt. So they don't, they do not want to freely move. In order to get the clips off, they need to be almost entirely open for this part to squeeze together in order to remove the clip. Just about that much and it is a pain to do. You will damage them here and there. Hopefully they will not be damaged beyond reuse. Otherwise you're gonna have to order some new clips online. You can't see that very well, but it says E2W-E and then NF25. So that might be some sort of part number that you can use. Find or buy new clips after damaging your clips. You guys get to see first person view of me struggling on this last one after I've had six practice ones. So let me explain what I was trying to show you guys. One on each side and then downward force kind of pry as you can see it doesn't even want to move try to get it from a different angle doesn't want to budge get it from this angle really doesn't want to move it's like barely coming out I just see a bunch of sand so now I'm wiggling the screwdriver back and forth trying to like just loosen it up and give me something I'm gonna try my other tool which this isn't even the correct tool I bet this wouldn't be as difficult if I had the the correct Toyota tool but most people don't have a correct Toyota tool lying around so we're making do with what we have oh man this is such a pain I'm so sorry for those that are watching this, but you're getting to see the reality of it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, got it. And a bunch of sand just went on my camera. It didn't even have it all the way disengaged, but it looks like, I look like I broke off some things on that one. It dropped this panel, which has a bunch of debris in it. And that gave us full access to where we need to go to get it in. Now we're gonna take our 12 millimeter socket and take off this bolt, this bolt, and then there's one more bolt on this side that you guys really can't see unless I move the camera over here. And if you wanna see where those bolts are in reference to the back of the car, they are right here. You can see my socket wrench hanging down. So I'm gonna get those three bolts off and those three bolts off. Before you take out those three bolts and those three bolts on the side, you're going to want to support the bumper with something. I have a two jack stands kind of jankily angled, jacking up the sides right there to that aluminum piece. And when, as soon as I take off all six of these bolts, this aluminum piece is no longer really gonna be supported. So that's providing some support. Um, if you don't have jack stands, you could use some two by fours. You could even stack books at some point, but this do at your own risk and at your own comfort zone. Hopefully this holds it. Let's see. All right, we got the six bolts out. The bumper did not fall on my face, which I am extremely thankful for. Use whatever you can and do this at your own risk to elevate that bumper up. So now you can see a little bit better what's gonna be going on. We have the six bolts that the kit came with and we're installing it with the conical washer, the bumpy part side down. That's gonna make contact with the hitch and provide some friction. Those six bolts just go up and on that what we took off and then we're gonna tighten them they're supposed to be tightened down to spec. Spec is 23 foot pounds. I don't have a torque wrench. So yeah, uh, make sure you torque it down to 23 foot pounds. I'm just gonna go tight. The OEM bolts are 12 millimeter and we're gonna have to find our 
13 millimeter socket in order to screw these guys on because these are 13 and I think my socket rolled away while I was working on the car. All right, we have located our 13 millimeter socket. Now I gotta figure a way to uh, kind of lift that. With all of the plastics removed, we're just going to bend this back a little bit and this one back a little bit and it has created a open channel where we can lift this in, somehow support it up and then start bolting it in. like we go over the exhaust. There we go, that's the angle. I'm trying to line up the bumper with the hitch, with the hole, all at the same time. It is not easy. Let me explain what I just did there. Because this will help anybody that's trying to do this that's having a little bit of issues. So, I finagled the hitch, lined up with the bumper, lined up with the bottom middle bolt on one side, and also the bottom middle bolt on this side. That's gonna give our hitch a little bit of support. I'm not gonna tighten that bolt all the way. I just got it in a couple hand turns. Now I'm going to do the other two bolts on each side, also hand tighten. And then the other two bolts on that side, because you want to get them all lined up. You need as much like play as you can to get them lined up. And I actually ended up taking this jack off of that side because it was like lifting it up too much and I had to just take it off and support everything. Oh man, look at that. Just, just bleeding. Should probably be wearing mechanics gloves because I just cut my finger on something metal sharp up there. But let's get these other four bolts in and then we're almost done. In order to get the second bolt in, I tightened up the two middle bolts and then I put a support on the hitch and then I pushed up on the bumper and that gave me enough, enough uh, wiggle room to get that bolt in and I'm gonna do that same technique on that side, the far side bolt. So I went middle, middle, this side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on that side. <laughs> Okay, we got three bolts. Three bolts in on this side. We are tightening them down. This one right here, there's like such little room to work. So I got like, I'm like smacking in. Smacking into hitches. So for some reason, my hitch is not flush against the frame or whatever part I'm bolting into. It was such a pain to get this top bolt lined up and then one on the other side. I had to bolt down the middle and bolt down the one that I could get in and then bolt down the other ones to kind of like start to line everything up. I don't know if this hitch was like I'm bent from the factory or if it was supposed to be like that, but I did get it in all of the bolts. Although it's not flush, all of the bolts are sticking out so I maximize the amount of threading and they are all tight. There is no play in the hitch or in the, the aluminum part of the bumper. So now we're going to reinstall the plastic underring. These things just suck. Even getting them open like that without being on the car was difficult. So I was under the impression that I was gonna be able to fit this back on, but it doesn't. It just comes off and stays off. So I'm just going to take the two best clips that I have and we're going to take this flap here, make sure that they're in the open position, push it into the hole, in through the metal, and then push it down and it should snap that piece of fascia or whatever it's called into place. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, take another one in the open position, Stick it up through there, through the metal hole, and then press it down. You'll hear it snap into place. 
and that secures that. You really can't tell from the back that this is missing. You'll only see it if you go up under, and I guess that's the sacrifice that we made for the hitch. So that's pretty much it. The hitch is installed. That took a lot longer than 15 minutes. I would say it took me over an hour with filming because I ran into memory card issues on my camera and then it, for whatever reason, mine didn't fit right. I don't know if that was a factory flaw or what. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let me know in the comments section where I messed up, what I did stupid, what you would have done differently, and if anything helped or any problems you ran into installing your hitch on your Prius C or any other vehicle for that matter. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.